Hey, how's it going? Um, so, finally getting around to putting on some makeup today. Aren't y'all proud of me? I already have pants on. I probably shouldn't have said pants. But I do need to get <laughs> my clothes on for the day. Um, I've been a little bit behind because I've been videoing everything for you guys. So, normally it does not take me this long, but that's alright. Um, I came to sit in front of my window. So you all wouldn't have to see my terrible bathroom lighting back there. Do you see that? It's like orange. Why do they choose to like make the place where you would get ready orange? I don't get it. It's like dressing rooms. Why? Um, questions for Jesus anyways. Okay. So I'm very, um, hi Nicole, holy moly. I'm very um, low maintenance when it comes to makeup. Just the way I roll. I don't make a lot of time for it. Um, yeah, so this is a super quick routine for me. It's literally less than five minutes. Um, I usually start with this fun piece of greatness right here. It's called Art Renewal Serum. It's something Young Loving makes. It's fantastic. Um, and it comes out kind of like this. It's just like a little gel consistency. And I won't focus on that. Um, and I just literally wipe it all over my face like this. So this is after um, I moisturize and after I... Um, tone and wash. So I said that backwards, but you know what I mean. Um, I apply this renewal serum to my face. Um, they, Young Living just came out with a hydrating primer, which is super fun. Um, and I've been actually enjoying it. I have used this as my primer in the past, but I'm starting to fall in love with this. They came out with a version that is mattifying, so it helps with oily skin. And then they came out with a version that's hydrating uh, that helps with dry skin. So I've been using a combination of both. It looks kind of like a lotion. Do y'all see that? Um, so I kind of put this on because it does help my makeup stick around a little bit longer than this. And when you're chasing after poor crazy people, you could use all the help you can get, right? So, and it smells lovely. I think it has like some really good smelling oils in it and I can't read today. So, um, frankincense, rosemary, tea tree, geranium, lavender, all kinds of good stuff. Okay. So I just literally rub that on my face, create kind of a palette, if you will, for foundation. I use the Savvy Minerals mineral makeup. I was not a mineral makeup person before Savvy. Um, and I decided to give it a whirl since I'm not a huge makeup person anyways. And I love it. Um, it is actually provides pretty good coverage and all of that. And I didn't bring in my tops to my bedroom. So we're just going to wing it here. Um, I will, I use the Savvy brushes, which are super great. I'm actually really digging those too. They just came out with a Kabuki brush. Super fun. It's in here. Um, it's a great blending tool. Um, and then here's the rest of them. They, um, are really great quality. They're super soft and very durable and easy to clean. So I really like that. So I will mist on, I didn't get my misting spray either. What is wrong with me? Okay, normally, let's pretend I missed on my misting spray. I'm not gonna get up and run and get it. Um, and then I will kind of dab my brush off so it's not super wet. And then I normally tap my foundation out into the top of um, the cap. And then with mineral makeup, you just want to kind of do it in a circular motion. It applies more evenly that way. So super duper simple to do. Yep, this is just the foundation part. Easy peasy. And I literally just go around and cover my whole face. Normally I use the misting spray, but since I failed on bringing that over here, we're just gonna pretend. Um, and this will actually stay on quite a while, okay? I will show y'all a picture at the end of the day after I run around like a crazy person, and y'all can see how well it stays on. See, it actually really gives like a really good evening tone to your skin. I like it. And it used to be kind of glittery, and now they've come out with matte options, so that's really fun for people who don't want to be all glittery like me. Okay, so I literally just go around and apply that. I do do a light bronzer. I do do a light bronzer. Um, and this one is called Summer Left, and I love it. It's just a really kind of good way to give yourself some color, which I totally need. And I just apply it to my cheekbones right here. Just a little bit. You can um, put it in the cap and then dab it off. 
so you don't have a ton like I'm doing. And then they say apply it where like the sun hits your face normally. So that is like around your hairline and on your neck. There we go. All right, super easy. And then I will apply some blush using my blushing brush. Um, again, just tap a little bit out into the cap and then kind of dust it off. And I just apply to the, you want to apply it to the apples of your cheeks. Like that. Super easy, just a little bit of color going on there. Hi! Hi, Mom. I have, a, I have an observer. You want to come say hi? <laughs> <laughs> we'll say hi! Hi! <laughs> um, Olivia's going to watch me put on a little bit of makeup here. Um, so, Maybe then I use, I yeah. Can I have a glass of milk? Sure. Then I use my um, eyeshadow brush to you, and I love this color. It's a really light color. They also make a matte version of it. This is a little bit glittery. It's called Residual. Um, and so you'll want to tap a little bit in there. It's just a very nice neutral color to kind of brighten your eyes a little bit, right? You could all use a little bit of brightening around here. Um, and then on the other side, of course, super simple. I usually don't add another color because I'm super low maintenance, but you can if you want. Um, they offer a darker color called res um, Residual. Where is this Residual? Let me not lie to you. This is Residual. They offer a darker color, which is super great. It's called Determined. That's what it is. And see, just a little bit darker if you want to add some dynamic to your eyes, which I don't care about. Okay. And then I fill in my brows with something called a multitasker. And this is going to be a little interesting because I didn't bring my <laughs> misting spray. Maybe I will have to go get it. But this is just a really great brow filler. It will also cover up grays, which is super great. Uh, and you can use it even as an eyeshadow. It's a little dark for me for an eyeshadow. So I use it as a brow filler. And I use my angled brush. And I literally just fill in my brows. This might not work as well because I don't have my misting spray. Maybe I'll have to go get it. So that is super easy to do. Maybe I won't do my other one on camera for y'all because I know y'all don't want close up of my brows here. Yeah, you get way more control with, um, see, you get way more control with your misting spray. So use that misting spray. Don't be lazy like me. Okay. So easy. Why do another question I have for Jesus, and I understand this because our bodies just do this naturally, but um, why do we lose hair in the places that we want hair to stay, like eyebrows, as we get older? I just don't know. Yeah. Anyways, random musings for you as I fill in my eyebrows that I've lost hair. Okay. So that's easy enough. And then I literally apply mascara. And a glass, and that's it. So I still use an eyelash curler. I won't be graphic for all of that right now. Looks a little scary. Um, and I just pulled my mascara out of my shirt <laughs> because I think the mascara, a savvy minerals mascara. Where's the? There you go. Um, I think it goes on much more evenly if you warm it up first. So I always, when I start putting on my makeup, stick it in my um, shirt. That's fancy for you, isn't it? And then the brush is really neat. They changed the formula this past year and they also changed the brush, which I think is super helpful. Um, and I wipe the excess off because I don't like a whole lot of clumpy mascara. Um, if you like a more heavier look, don't wipe it off, but literally just swipe it on. Um, and that's it. Like. Super easy, and this formulation actually won't smudge. It's like, I can wear it all day and I don't have black circles under my eyes, which is super nice. And for the finishing touch, and I didn't bring that over here either, well, boo, um, I just put on a light gloss. Um, Young Living infuses its glosses with peppermint, which is kind of plumping and tingly and nice. Um, I'll put it on for my <laughs> final picture, uh, but I like the light. There's a really light color. They also offer several other colors, and they offer lipstick. So for those of you who like a more polished look, y'all can go that route. But this is just my simple routine. It literally takes two seconds to do, and that's it. Okay, thanks for joining.